Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. Oh, welcome back. He was injured in three battles and lived with shrapnel going halfway through his brain. That's the story of one Vietnam veteran from Garden Plain. KSN's Hannah Adamson and photojournalist Nick Kiefer share his incredible story in this week's Veteran Salute. As part of the 2nd Battalion, 4th Marines, David Rao lived through the Tet Offensive and spent the majority of his three deployments near the DMZ. He was wounded three different times. In one battle, he was shot in the knee. In another, he was shot in the back. But perhaps his third and final injury was the most death-defying of them all. They needed volunteers to take supplies to the troops at the front lines. As an acting lieutenant in charge of his whole platoon, Corporal David Rao did not hesitate to put his life on the line to save his men. Those are a lot of my buddies and a lot of people I knew. So I volunteered. I, I didn't want uh, anybody else to go. I, I decided I wanted to go. As part of motor transport, Rao operated a 50 caliber machine gun on the back of a truck. On his way to the front lines, mortar rounds started to go off all around him. I was shooting at people at the VC going over the hill and, and had tracer rounds where you could see where you were shooting. And uh, mortar round went off and blew me off the back of the truck. That's when a two and a half inch piece of shrapnel launched itself into Rao's brain. They couldn't do anything or they didn't want to do anything at the time because they said that it could cause more damage. Raul was discharged due to his injury in 1971, but six years later... My ear was kind of hurting and stuff, and, and I took a Q-tip. I thought, well, maybe it needs cleaned out. <laughs> took a Q-tip, the cotton pulled off. I took a, a tweezers and tried to pull, and I couldn't get it. So I took a needle of those pliers, and I reached up there, and I was pulling it. It hurt like hell, but there was a piece of metal about half of what I knew was in there. Incredibly, five years after that, the other half came out in the exact same place. And they took x-rays. They said, don't ever get an MRI. It'll pull it right through. So they took another x-ray and they said, well, it's not there anymore. Even while living with shrapnel in his head for 11 years, Rao says he wouldn't change a thing about his time in the service. The Marine with three purple hearts who lived to tell the tale against all odds. The only thinking you do is how to stay alive and evidently I did a good job on that because I'm still here. After the military, Rao would work for Cessna before taking over his father's mechanic business. He would work on and off for many years on vehicles before retiring in 2005. Here for you, Hannah Adamson, KSN News 3. The Devon James Injury Lawyers here with our Veteran of the Week and that's United States Marine Corporal David Rao who proudly served our country during Vietnam and in fact received three separate Purple Hearts. On behalf of all of Kansas, thank you so much for your service. I want to thank Devon James and KSN for everything they're doing for the veterans. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers.